Here's Rundown, uh, coming to you from my hotel room in Jasper, getting away for the weekend with my wife. But uh, had to stop the vacation a little bit just to talk a little bit Edmonton Oilers because it looks like something big is getting even closer to coming to fruition. So the potential thing that could be happening, of course, is a deal between the Edmonton Oilers and Columbus Blue Jackets. Now, we've talked a lot about Samuel Montembeau with the Montreal Canadiens, how that looked like that was a distinct possibility. That door was officially closed earlier today when Montembeau signed a three-year extension with the Montreal Canadiens, but it looks like the Oilers had already switched their focus primarily, primarily to the Columbus Blue Jackets. Elliot Friedman had this to say on 32 Thoughts this morning. The circumstantial evidence makes a lot of sense that the Oilers would be looking at Columbus for goalies. However, this person that came to me said that they might be up to more than that, that they might be looking at some of the other players Columbus has on their roster. So that just goes to the potential that this could be in an even bigger deal. Now, the Oilers are clearly looking at Columbus goaltender Elvis Mers Lincolns. So Bob Stoffer and Frank Saravelli were talking about this possibility earlier on Oilers Now. Uh, Mers Lincoln's agent, Jerry Johansson, an Edmonton-based agent and good friends with Bob Stoffer, he's a regular guest on Oilers Now. He said that the, uh, Elvis would welcome a change of scenery from the Columbus Blue Jackets. Obviously, he's had a hard couple years there, lost his former friend and teammate in that accident a few years ago. So he would like a fresh start outside of Columbus. And Bob also mentioned that the players on the Oilers have a lot of respect for Elvis and noted his play in the league and world championships. So when Bob Stoffer starts making hints about a potential trade, that's definitely when we should take notice. I mean, he did go on a couple week <laughs> tangent last uh, summer with uh, Patrick Kane's story. So Maybe not, but he is talking here directly with Elvis's agent, so there definitely could be something to this. The Edmonton Oilers have been scouting the Columbus Blue Jackets recently, as we discussed a few days ago. That continued tonight. It's Oilers uh, scouts Warren Reichel, Jeff Selecko, their goalie scout and assistant GM, and professional scout Brad Holland. So they continue to follow the Columbus Blue Jackets. Bob Stoffer hinting at it. A lot of things are lining up here. Elvis Mers Lincolns, he's got the same amount of term left on his contract as Jack Campbell does. Makes slightly more, 5.4 million. So, but apparently this deal, if it does go through, is likely to be a multiplayer deal. So we don't know which other pieces are involved. It's basically just guesswork at this point. Uh, taking a look at Mers Lincoln's numbers this year, he's at a 907 save percentage. Definitely not at the top of his game, but going back a few years, we're looking at a 923 save percentage, 949 in the AHL, 916 again in 2020 21, 907 in 2021 2022. And like I said, he's been dealing with the death of his former teammate, so that can take a lot out of you. We know that's primarily the reason that uh, Adam Larson left, not a teammate, but his father passed away in Edmonton. So it can be hard to get past that. So if they can give Elvis a fresh start in Edmonton, he can regain his former form. He could definitely be a strong goaltender for the Oilers in a tandem with Stuart Skinner. Clearly, Jack Campbell would have to go in this deal. Jack Campbell's working with Manny Legacy right now in Bakersfield. And Manny Legacy has the connection with the Columbus Blue Jackets there too. So just one other log in the smoke of the fire that's burning right now. So we'll see what happens here, guys. The Columbus Blue Jackets aren't playing tomorrow. We know the Oilers are on a currently a five-day break. So if they were going to do a trade, this would be almost the ideal time to make it happen. Whether it's going to go that quickly is anybody's guess. We know the Oilers likely we're going to bring up Jack Campbell probably on Sunday, but if this trade goes down, Jack Campbell might never come back to Edmonton. So we'll see what happens here, guys. I'll monitor it from here, and if there's another big update, I will let you know. But uh, otherwise, I'll probably be back on Sunday night with an update on where things are at, trying to enjoy my little uh, 
get away here. But like I said, if there's big news, I will hop back on and let you guys know and we can discuss it. So I think that's all for now, guys. Let me know your thoughts on the potential trade in the comment section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers, Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan. Have a great weekend, guys.